guys, welcome back to Gold Souls. Today, we have a little bit of a different layout on the screen as I'm sure you've noticed, and it's because we're gonna do another Draw With Me video. So today I'm gonna be drawing a 1970s icon that you guys helped me pick. I made a poll on the Gold Souls Instagram story where I asked you guys if I should draw Donna Summer, Mick Jagger, Farrah Fawcett, or Diana Ross, and it was a very close tie between Diana and Farrah, and Diana came out as the winner. So I'm gonna draw Diana Ross today, and then if this does well, then maybe I'll do a Farrah Fawcett video for you guys. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start off like the way I usually do, which is when I take a pencil, it could be any pencil really. I'll probably use my pen pencil brush from the Ergo Josh brush set, and I'm going to draw kind of just a general outline of what I think I'm gonna end up doing. One of the things I wanted to mention is that if you haven't followed Gold Souls on TikTok, please do. I keep mentioning it at the end of my videos, but I hope that you guys are checking it out because I've got some cool content planned um, and what I've posted so far is doing reasonably well. I've been having a lot of fun with like the acting stuff. Um, I don't know if any of you guys really know much about me, but I am an actor. So being able to act on TikTok has been really cool and just to see that community of people that love to act and create um, scenes. I'm also not sure if you guys know that I'm also a singer-songwriter. I have a new single coming out soon called Since You've Been Gone. I'm assuming that once this video is out, it'll probably already be out there, so feel free to check it out. I'm kind of excited about that one because it's a bit of a genre departure from what I normally do. It's got some 70s folk kind of inspiration behind it. I wanted to do something that had like a Jim Croce vibe. Hopefully you guys like it, so go check it out if you uh, haven't heard it already. Not sure when this video will be out, but I'm sure by the time it's out, the song will be out as well. And just just so that I say this, I feel like I don't have to say this, but you never really know. Um, this is not gonna be exactly the same. It's gonna be an artistic interpretation of this photograph. So now I'm gonna take this layer and I'm gonna lessen the opacity. I'm gonna come back on here with the pen pencil in black, I think, yeah. And I'm gonna change the brush size and I'm gonna go in and do the fine details. Tell me in the comments what your guys' favorite Diana Ross song is. I'd love to know. I really like um, Upside Down. And also like her movie soundtrack stuff, like her song from Mahogany. Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Da -da 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 -da. If you're a digital artist, tell me what, uh, what software you use to draw. I used to draw on um, Pixelmator for a long time. That was like the low budget Photoshop that Apple makes that actually served me pretty well for a long time. And then I finally switched to Photoshop and then I switched to Procreate for drawing. I still use Photoshop for um, like my Instagram designs on Gold Souls, how all my posts are connected. I use Photoshop to make all of that. I basically just do all the fine detail drawings in Procreate and then import them into Photoshop. Which actually reminds me, 
Um, I have some questions from you guys. Vintage Brown Sugar asked me, what software slash apps do you use to edit your content? I use Procreate, I use Photoshop, I use Final Cut Pro to edit all my videos, and that's pretty much everything. It's always a combination of things. If I need like a drawing or something kind of fine detail work, I'll put it into Procreate, do that, upload it again into Photoshop and just the cycle continues. So those are pretty much the main apps that I use to make everything. I definitely want to transition into Premiere soon, um, but honestly, Final Cut Pro is just, it's easier, the interface is so simple and it's just user-friendly and I've been using it for so long that I figure why not just keep using it, you know? Okay, so there's the one eye. I could draw the other eye, but you know what? I'm kind of lazy today, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna copy and paste. Oh, Diana, you're so cute. One question is from Stephen Hyde. Love that username. And they said, fashion inspo, all caps, four exclamation points, and where to find the clothes, please, all caps, four A's. That sounded very urgent, so I must answer this one. Fashion inspiration for me comes from a lot of places. It mostly comes from different decades. It, it's everywhere, honestly. It's like everywhere. It's like movies, it's TV shows, it's creators on Instagram and TikTok, it's all kinds of people. That 70s show really kind of shifted a lot of things for me fashion-wise. Where do I get the clothes? Um, I really have always loved Zara. Shein is actually pretty cool. I just got some nice accessories from them. They have some really good headscarves and necklaces. Vintage shopping and thrifting is something that I'm looking to expand more. You know what Diana Ross should do? That Vogue thing where the celebrities sit down and detail their best looks throughout the decades. Oh my gosh. Diana's video will be like 35 minutes because she has so much material. telling me how you found gold souls i'd love to know like if you discovered gold souls via youtube via tiktok via instagram tell me where you came from i'd love to know kind of what channels people are finding me through because that will help me kind of know where to put most of my creative energy
All right, there we are. Diana Ross in the style of Gold Souls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow Gold Souls on Instagram and TikTok, and let me know who you want me to draw in the future. I'll see you next time.